Hello, my friends. Hi there. This is Braceways. Was I missed? I missed you guys. I'm here today to show off a little bit of of a mishmash of things that I've been working on as well as what I'm going to be working on and some stuff that I've already done in the past that I wanted to show and I wanted to first say that I appreciate all you guys being patient with me uh, you know I've been trying to get this project you know to come to completion I'm almost there I keep getting ideas that I want to keep on adding but I think it's overall gonna have to be stopped where I'm at because I just have way too many things already and I'm running out of space and all that kind of thing and I'm really just uh, ready to show you guys what it is so I'm hoping to be able to maybe videotape it tomorrow if not the next day for sure I'm gonna because I want to move on to other things so I'm, I want to wrap this up and, and put it out there for you guys so that y'all can enjoy it and see it and see if you get any more ideas uh, for something that y'all might be doing um, tonight I just wanted to talk about uh, just a few little things that I was working on like first of all I was working on my own little waffle cookies I've seen uh, my friend Maria from uh, let me see if I can remember her name uh, Siempre Infinito DIY I hope I got that right Maria if not please forgive me but she has done such cute things on her channel you have got to check her out uh, she does a lot of things, you know, she does a lot of, of uh, clay modeling with her hands, which I really like. Um, there's also uh, Crafting with Barbara. Uh, Barbara's another friend that's really, really good at doing what she does. Everybody's different. Everybody does their own thing, just like I do. I mean, that's what makes us all special, right? And, uh, uh, you know, just a shout out to all my subscribers new and old and I hope that any new subscribers out there that come around will subscribe to my channel or any new uh, viewers will subscribe to my channel um, I'm still fairly new so I'm slowly climbing but you know I would love to see more subscribers and I would appreciate your comments and your likes uh, please don't hesitate to do that guys uh, let me know what you think, you know, let me know and if you have any ideas of what maybe you would like for me to try to do or something, you know, let me know about that too. Um, I just wanted to show you guys today that yes, I made my own uh, little waffle cookies. Uh, they're made out of modeling clay, of course, and all I did is that I took the modeling clay and rolled it out enough for me to cut out the rounds of the cookies that I wanted well before I did that though I took you never believe but I took this little itty bitty little wooden block from those little blocks from Dollar Tree that I had gotten a while back right and I imprinted the little squares onto my modeling clay and then I cut out the rounds right I cut out three of them um, you know the two that were gonna be the waffles with the imprints and then one plain one to go into the middle to be the sandwiched part to make the cookies and then all I did was I hand painted the outsides to make it look waffly or at least my own rendition of some something that looks waffly and I used um, this wonderful clear glitter that has no iridescence or it, it doesn't have any color to it for the sugared part of the cookie which is the center part you can't really see it on this uh, lighting I'm sorry you guys my son got me this really nice big light but it's so bright and I, I I have to you know let me try dimming it a little bit I didn't even think about that but let me see what I can do I'm sorry <laughs> I hope I don't fade out altogether right let me see oh that's a lot better right let me see can you or can you not I'm not quite there but I don't know if I want to dim it anymore but in any case that's what I used and I made two of them just to add to what I'm doing and I wanted to uh, talk about Halloween I love Halloween that is to me the best time of the year 
though I do love spring and summer, don't get me wrong, I love those seasons of the year, but you know, when winter starts wanting to sneak in and we're in fall and all of that, of course, we have Halloween. And that to me is just one of those times when I can just, you know, really truly enjoy myself because it's not so hot, it's not so cold, you know, it's kind of in between, you know, right before winter starts. So a few years ago, I had made these um, faux foods or faux goodies or faux desserts and I just brought them out again to show you guys. Now this little cupcake here is one of my very first attempts at making my cupcake so it's not the best of the best. But I wanted something cute and simple and so there it is. All it was was actually this was not even made with um, uh, spackling. It was made with uh, plaster of Paris that I mixed and made very thick but yet loose enough to dollop onto or just spread onto my cupcake. And the foam part down here, of course, was made, the, the shape of it was made from the, the foam insulation that you get in a can. And then I just simply just added uh, these cute little uh, plastic uh, ring bats. You know, I, I cut off the ring part of them and I put them on there with some super glue. And then I lightly touched the tops of the bats with some uh, red glitter paint. And that was this little cupcake. Of course, I don't have a Halloween bottom or anything like that, but that is something that I want to put onto this cupcake and revamp it, if you will, for this year. Then, I had made uh, several of these thick little cakes um, out of sponges that I had bought a long time ago, I think at Walmart. And I, I don't know if you can find them at Dollar Tree, but I found, I think I found these at Walmart. And I just simply um, had mixed the plaster of Paris at the time, because it is a little heavy. And I just um, ended up, uh, after I put it onto the little cake, I, I just went back and I repainted, I painted the whole thing black. And then I simply just added that clear um, glitter to sugar the top. And I had added these uh, faux candy pieces that were rosettes. And all I did was I dolloped uh, faux uh, frosting on top. And then I drizzled uh, the hot pink little stripes. And I wish you could see this. <laughs> it is not, it's just not showing up for you. Uh, and I could try another color here, but I don't know. All I know is that... Um, you know, it was just something that I made a long time ago. And I had to show you guys again to give you all a simple idea of what y'all can do to make small cakes. And it's, it's simple, it's fun, and it gets you to make more molded uh, stuff, you know, to use. Because molds are fun. I just love using molds. So I've got that. And then I had made this little faux cake, and this was made out of, of I think, two, I'm trying to remember if it was just one round um, styrofoam or if it was two put together. My, my guess is I probably had two of them. And so all I did was, back in the day, I had used the plaster of Paris again, like, and I had made it uh, soft enough to use as a frosting. And then I just, you know, coated it all over and then I added the candy pieces on top, also with the uh, little frosting, and this one had um, the fine pink glitter from Walmart. And then I just, um, you know, just uh, drizzled these thick stripes from top to bottom of the cake of, of the edges. And then I just glittered the whole thing up with the, the faux sugar. Or no, this is made with um, the white sand to make it look like it was sugar. And so this is a, like a little vampire cake. You know, it, it has different colors on it. it. You know, it's not just black and orange or anything. It does have pink and it does have a little bit of lavender in it and some tan. 
So I thought that was cute. And as you can see from the bottom, I had I had it red at one point, but the red was kind of like, eh. It, it wasn't really working for me, and I wanted to make it more uh, elegant. So that's why I repainted it black. So there's that one. And then I had not put away my um, some of my molds, so I still had the Easter mold that I did for the big faux um, chocolate eggs. So I ended up making these. And all I did was that I made two of each pattern out of the plaster of Paris, and I waited the days for them to dry, and then I super glued them together. And then I just hand painted the little details on them and stuck them into these little um, cellophane bags with a little tie to them. And they're still a little heavy, but they, they're so they're real cute. You know what this would be good for? Uh, like a paperweight <laughs> for the holidays. So I thought those were cute and I think I might yeah I know I glittered them up with the glitter paints so it has a little bit of sparkle as you can see right there where the little green is showing yeah all that little green there is the um, glitter paint that I used and I also put on the um, on the ribbons where I colored them uh, some of that clear glitter to make it look like it was sugar so these are just some of the ideas that you can have that you can use that, you know, if you're preparing already for what's coming up next, you know, because after 4th of July, of course, you know, you have October coming up and it gives you something to prepare ahead of time also. So we're not all rushed and everything, trying to find what we need and, 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 you know, trying to, that way we can plan out everything slowly and surely. So I, oh. <laughs> and a stray moon cookie. I did this one just because I have a uh, one left over, and I decided to just paint it chocolatey and add the gold glitter paint to it. And <laughs> that's all it is. But yep, I did these, and of course I did my large seven-layer uh, faux cake, Halloween cake, that is already on my video list. So go check it out. Um, that one took me, uh, I guess about a week or so to do because I did, uh, so much glittering to it. Uh, that one has actually, uh, frosted faux sugar flowers on it. And I spray painted the flowers first black and I picked out all the flowers I wanted and then I, I spray painted them and then glittered them up and then sealed them with Mod Podge. And then I was able to use them on my faux cake. And that one, that one was a fun, uh, a fun one to do. So I hope you guys will... Hang in there, and I will try to put out the, the latest idea that I have been working on. And I've been trying to watch uh, everyone's videos. Uh, I'm doing my best. Uh, I do feel better, thank goodness. Uh, this heat has been extremely crazy. But, you know, we're doing our best to stay cool around here. And I've been trying to work on my stuff in the evening when I have more time. So... In any case, uh, I hope that I will see y'all again, and I hope that y'all visit all the other videos. If you haven't seen everything else that I have put out there, I'd appreciate it if y'all take a look and leave me your likes and comments. For all your new ones that have barely stumbled onto my channel, please subscribe, and um, I would appreciate it if uh, you left me, you know, your like and a comment. So this is Brace Ways. Until next time, guys, y'all hang in there, stay creative, and, you know, just do your thing, and we'll see you again later. Till next time, bye-bye.